Hello, and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley, and today we're going to discuss an interesting case that came in. We had an elderly gentleman who came in who has a history of diabetes for many years. Unfortunately, he had never been to an ophthalmologist or, or, or an optometrist in the last several years, and he woke up this morning with a sort of dark red blob floating in his vision in his right eye. And so he called his medical doctor and they referred him in uh, immediately to see us. And so fortunately, uh, his vision was not reduced that much from the hemorrhage. It was about 20-40. Um, but when we examined his eye, uh, he had a hemorrhage inside the eye, uh, which is called a vitreous hemorrhage. That is the jelly that fills up the back part of your eye. Uh, he had hemorrhaged into that part. It was not a large one. That's the reason why his vision was still okay. It was a fairly small hemorrhage. He also had scattered hemorrhages through his retina uh, as well. And also, which uh, there are different kinds of diabetic retinopathy is what this is called. Uh, he had some abnormal vessels on the surface of his disc that are called neovascularization. <clears throat> so, um, He's going to be referred to a retinal specialist who will then probably end up doing laser treatment to diminish those uh, bad leaky vessels that are bleeding and his, he's probably still going to be okay. But you have to realize that diabetes is the number one cause of blindness in the United States and people under age 60. As we get older, macular degeneration and those kind of things become more prevalent but in people under age 60, diabetes is the number one cause of permanent blindness in the United States. So what happens with diabetes? Well, diabetes, uh, the blood sugar is elevated, obviously, that you probably are well aware of, but what happens is, is that the blood flow inside your body gets altered. And so what happens in the retina is, is you, have, you have the arteries that push blood into your retina, and then they gets down to smaller arteries and smaller arteries till you get to a capillary, which is a tiny little blood vessel. And then from that capillary, the oxygen and nutrients diffuse out into your tissue or retina or body, and then the vein carries the blood away. And so um, there are little cells that surround the capillaries that keep the cell wall of the capillary intact, called a pericyte. And so in diabetics, from the diabetes, those parasites die, and so therefore the capillaries close down, and now you have altered blood flow through your body. And so people who have diabetes have trouble with their retinas, their kidneys, their lower extremities because of poor circulation. They've lost that capillary network. And so when we look in the eye, we see that these vessels are abnormal, and what happens is, is that they leak blood into your retina and they have little blotches of blood scattered around the retina and um, also the serum part of your fluid in your, in your blood leaks out and so now we have little yellowish whitish deposits that of, are collecting and that is this, the uh, solids and cholesterol type, type things in the serum of your blood collects into the retina and so people lose vision several different ways from diabetes. Uh, initially, uh, we have when people just start hemorrhaging little spots and different things happen in the retina, we call that background diabetic retinopathy. And so in that scenario, you have these hemorrhages, and unless the hemorrhage happens right in your macula, you won't even know anything's going on. Um, but as it progresses, and you get hemorrhages into the central part of your vision or macula, or the, the, the fluid is leaking into your macula and causing edema or swelling in your macula, then you will start to have diminished vision. And the sooner these things are caught, the better the treatment and the better your prognosis is. So then there's a second type of di diabetic retinopathy, and that is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy, and that's what this gentleman had. So the circulation gets so altered in uh, your retina that actually you start, your retina starts producing a chemical factor that stimulates new blood vessels to, to grow because you're not getting enough circulation through your retina. So you think, okay, our body's gonna 
regenerate some new vessels to take care of that problem. The problem is these new vessels are, are not growing in the right direction or the right way and these vessels are not normal vessels. They're very fragile and they break open and bleed. So that's what happened to this particular gentleman is this morning when he woke up, one of those little vessels, the abnormal vessels on the disc, on the surface of his disc, hemorrhaged into his eye and then he noticed that blood being there. So this is a more severe form of diabetic retinopathy. But again, if caught early enough, still with laser treatment and injections of medicines, we still can try to keep that under control. If left uncontrolled and these vessels keep growing and growing, they actually cause the retina to detach. And when it gets to that severe a form of proliferative diabetic retinopathy with traction retinal detachments, those people a lot of times do not do very well. So the bottom of this story is, is that this gentleman had not been seen by an eye doctor in many years. And so he's now at risk of having significant problems with his vision. And so if you are a diabetic, it is the standard of care in the United States that you get your eyes examined, dilated and eye, your eyes examined every year. Because the earlier this is caught, the better your results are. And also, as far as trying to keep and preventing this from happening, happening um, the better you control your diet and the better you maintain your blood sugar at a consistent, normal level, less likelihood you're going to have anything of these type of things happen to you. So uh, if you have any questions about diabetes and how it affects the eye, you can contact us through the website. If not, may God bless you with healthy vision and uh, great eyes.